Hi, this is Bob, and uh, this is the Heathkit AR3 that I've been restoring. I've made two changes to my plans here. First of all, the power cord that I'm going to put on here, I'm going to put on a three conductor power cord with a grounded pin on it for safety uh, instead of the two conductor that was on there. And the uh, second thing I'm going to do is, is I decided this is just too dirty to uh, clean up uh, just superficially with little uh, Q-tips and things and alcohol and all that. I'm going to wash it and then bake it in the oven. So uh, anyhow, I'll do, I'm going to do the washing right now. Now the soap I'm using I have used Dawn soap in about a 50-50 mix uh, before. I don't know for sure that this is Dawn soap, but I do know that it's uh, dishwashing soap. I try not to get a whole lot of it in the IF transformers. I'll clean the tops of those off separately with a small Q-tip and some alcohol or something like that. I don't want to use uh, the soapy mixture much on the IF transformers. So we we'll kind of stay away from those. Now I'm going to bake it for a couple of hours. Uh, I like to bake them at 150 degrees, but I have to say that, that my oven here that I have now, the lowest I can get it is 170. That doesn't seem to hurt anything. You can see there's some rust there. Hey, this is coming off pretty good. The dirt and everything. Of course, I'm not going to get that rust off. Okay. I've got the tubes out. I'm going to wash those two with the same solution. When I took the tubes out, I laid them on the workbench in the same positions they go in to the radio so I don't have to look up which tube goes where. All I'm going to do is just uh, pick them up and put them back in in the positions they are in laying on the workbench. Want to be kind of careful around the variable capacitor and things like that. And it looks pretty clean anyway so that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, she's cleaning up nicely, looks like here. Now there's going to be rusty stuff that I'm not going to be able to clean. I was thinking about maybe getting some uh, copper colored uh, modeling paint, maybe in a little bottle, get a small brush, and maybe dab it on some of this rust. That would be a good thing to do to make it look a little better anyways. But I don't think it's going to be too bad. Now when you bake them in the oven like that, that cleans, cleans, that dries out even the transformers and things inside. So that's really good. Now when I worked at Heath Company, uh, people were building a lot of HW101s and they, they had drifting problems with the VFOs from time to time. And we were told by the people, the engineering people, to tell the folks to bake them in the oven at 150 degrees for a couple of hours and then just let them set overnight and that's what I'm going to do with this however we did get a call from one guy and he said yeah, I didn't talk to him one of the other guys did but he told that uh, repair technician he said he says, I baked it at 350 degrees, just like you said. He said, my golly, he said, all the plastic parts melted. He said, this thing is just ruined. Well, first of all, you want to be absolutely sure that you take the meter out. If you're baking an HW101 or something like that, you got to take the meter out. You also have to take the meter out if you're going to wash it like this, too. And, of course, you take the speaker off. You see, I have the speaker off already here. I don't know if that speaker is good. It's got kind of a makes kind of a funny vibration, and I may be just putting a new speaker on. But anyways, you can't put water on a speaker. A lot of dirt rolling off. You can see it back here. 
rolling off of the off of this thing. And another thing too, I wanted to mention too while I'm talking to you guys, if you are working on a, uh, I hope the microphone is uncovered there well enough. If you're working on a uh, H uh, H uh, yeah HW5400 uh, rig. Uh, they used a different plastic on those, and that plastic is, it has a lower melting temperature. I guess that's what I should say. It has a lower melting temperature. So don't bake HW5400 uh, HW in the oven, or you will find, as I did, that the front panel and all will just melt. So don't do that. Okay, just rinse her off real good here, and you know, I think I'm just going to do a little scrubbing on those IF transformers. I got them all wet anyhow. Oh yeah, get that stuff off of there, it'll be just fine. Now, is there anything else? I guess that's it. That's as much as I can do right now. So from here it goes up to the oven for a couple of hours. And then I'll leave it just set in there until tomorrow morning. It'll be nice and dry. Run the oven for, for two hours and just leave the door closed and turn it off. So that's it, guys. This is the uh, segment. Segment? Yeah, the second segment of the uh, restoration of the AR3. Now, I did do an AR2 receiver before. Uh, the AR2 looks a lot like this, but it's a different receiver. Got a little different changes uh, in the circuitry and all in the AR2 and the, between the AR2 and the AR3. And I wanted to show you one of the things that I just did before I put this in here. First of all, I changed the grommets here. Those are new grommets. And I got the grommets at uh, Harbor Freight in a package. You get a whole bunch of different sizes of grommets. And the other thing I did is, you see this wire right here? That's an extra ground wire. Oh, the lens on the camera is uh, fogging up. There we go. I get it up out of that, uh, I get it up out of the <laughs> sink there, and it's all right. So you can see that wire there, this one here. That's one of the extra ground wires I was talking to you about, putting in a redundant ground system. This, these are run redundant ground wires that I put in, runs through the whole system. All the ground connections, the ground lugs, the ground connections on the tubes, the ground connections on the, on the jacks on the back are all connected together as a redundant ground system. And it makes a tremendous difference in the noise on the receiver. Now, I demonstrated that this had some hum in it uh, before. And uh, so we're going to see if that helps. It did on the AR2. It completely eliminated, eliminated that little bit of hum that was in there. So this is the project for today. So right now it's going upstairs into the oven for a couple of hours. So that's it, guys. 73s and good DX. Maybe I should say 73s and Heath Kits forever. That would be good.